Oh, hello! <laughs> I'm Professor Goodenwell, and I love the arts. I love my music, and I love words and phrases. Yes. <laughs> You see that? I can play without playing. Heavens to Betsy. Hmm. Hmm. Heavens to Betsy. I wonder where that came from. <laughs> Why don't we ask some of the people on the street what they think? The saying, heavens to Betsy, is sort of like an old exclamation, like Great Caesar's Ghost or something. Heavens to Betsy. That's a good try, but can you tell me the origin? I feel like the expression heavens to Betsy has its roots in some strange deceased person named Betsy where, uh, you know, if something shocking happened, even Betsy up in the sky would be, would be freaked out. Betsy was a very popular name a long time ago. I'm, I, I know a lot of old Betsy's, so I think that it's just like, because one would say, oh my God, but just not wanting to say God, so you say Betsy because Betsy's everywhere just like God. I mean, there must have been an original Betsy at some point, right? Heavens to Betsy is associated with mature females of the Prohibition era or earlier. As to where it came from, nobody has the slightest idea. Some have traced it to the Revolutionary War and to Betsy Ross, maker of the first U.S. flag. Charles Earl Funk, who in 1955 used a phrase as part of the title of a book about curious phrases, said that its origins were completely unsolvable. So, in a sense, heavens to Betsy, we have no clue. <laughs> I'm Professor Goodwell, and this has been Famous Phrases.